just fun. And you have to wash where you push, knock things out of whack. Okay. thing is to get them into the pins and line up this little hole there's a little hole there for the screw piece of label all right looks like I got it lined up find one screw get it in the right hole folks I didn't line it up with the right hole and that's it. Okay, servos are tight. Now I took the rod off. click you hear a click it's on make sure your wires are safely out of the way for servo movement okay we have a tail tail motor let's get some blades on this and like I was saying earlier these are curved I don't know if they're supposed to be straight I don't know if you could bend them don't know but maybe I'll try it after I do the blades um, I bought these extreme supposed to be one degree curve blades so I was gonna try them out fun part is these little tiny screws for the blade holder and they are tiny there's one I don't know what these do. I just figured I'd try them out. Okay, second little tiny screw.
Can you see that thing? That's a tiny screw. Oops. But pretty much everything on this helicopter is pretty tiny. But I would have to say that the blade holder screws are the tiniest on here. Okay. All righty. I put the canopy rod back in. Under the wire. Alrighty. Well, come back later for uh, another part and we'll see if she can fly, but that's kind of how it is. It's probably not the best way, it's not the right way or the wrong way, but to install a tail motor. Um, and then I also installed some blades. And then also the rotor blade. I uh, hope this helps somebody out. Thanks.